On September 14, 1874, 1,500 members of the White League, a militia of Democrats opposed to the civil rights goals of Reconstruction, attacked New Orleans and overthrew the Louisiana government. Two years before, a pro-Reconstruction Republican politician named William Pitt Kellogg was elected governor of Louisiana, largely on the strength of his support among African-American voters. That same year, Caesar Carpenter Antoine, an African-American man, was elected lieutenant governor as well. The electoral success of the integrated Kellogg-Antoine ticket angered many white men committed to white supremacy. Attempts to overthrow the elected government began nearly as soon as Governor Kellogg and Lieutenant Governor Antoine took office in 1873 and continued into the next year. During the summer of 1874, Frederick Nash Ogden, a former colonel in the Confederate Army, began to organize an armed resistance force that became known as the White League. On September 14th, they made their move. After cutting the city's telegraph lines and killing at least 13 members of the integrated New Orleans police force, the White League overran the State House and attempted to establish a new government. After three days, President Ulysses S. Grant ordered the U.S. Army to put down the rebellion and the elected government was restored. In total, 32 were killed and 89 wounded. After Reconstruction ended prematurely in 1877 as part of a political compromise, Democrats regained control of the state government and implemented laws and policies to suppress black political power. In 1891, Democrats installed a monument celebrating the 1874 coup attempt, calling it the Battle of Liberty Place. In 1974, a marker was placed near the monument to express how it did not reflect the city's position on race relations. In July 2015, New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu proposed removing the monument, and by December of that same year, the New Orleans City Council voted in agreement. The monument was finally removed on April 24, 2017.